All right. I did not do my studying on your ball. So a little right to left slope. We're just gonna hit a little draw off the corner. Yeah. At least the fairways here mostly feed back into the fairway. Yeah. Or all the rough does. Yeah. Yeah, I think if anybody, any of y'all played golf with me before or seen any of my videos, you know I hit a big draw 95% <laughs> of the time. So. Oh, and we have our first misread. It doesn't like my black driver. No. We can turn the volume up on that projector a little bit so yeah. we can get some commentary from John. Draw ball. A little weak to fuck come out of the gate, but that'll do. Alright. So it's not yelling over the live. Alright. Bit of a predicament here. Let me crank up the volume so you guys can get a little uh, commentary from John here. Oh, it looks like it's up. Oh, I guess it is up. I don't know why we can't hear it. Alright. Gonna have to elevate a little three iron here. Nope. Oh. Looks like we needed to elevate it a little bit more there, Gerald. Pop up. Pop up, buddy. Alright. 181. Well, no, it's still you. I'm like one. Yeah, most likely. Didn't it? Uh, didn't strike I forgot. That one. You, you short knocked it off the tee. Yep. Off to uh, the hottest start here. Let's play a little draw in there. A little bit of wind too. Ooh, saucy! Oh, come it's on, got ball. A turn. Look at that fortunate bounce. Well, that's not bad there. How fortuitous was that, buddy? I'll take that. It's like the member bounce at TPC yep. Deer Run today. Hey, we're, we're just trying to save a save a bogey here. <laughs> Make sure I got the right club. Oh, man, that's at the back. Yeah. So, what did we set the greens on? Greens are on soft for firmness, but we are playing them on nice and fast. That should be, oh, should be pretty. Wind Wind's taking it a little bit. Very nice. Oh, at least the ball's stopping. Yeah. Let's see. Right, so something you'll notice when you're playing TGC, if you've ever played Tiger Woods before, you've got the slopes on the greens, right? You can see, I don't know if you see me or the video there, but you've got these slopes. Everything's feeding left, so Hunter's actually going to aim his chip shot out to the right a little bit and let it feed down with that hill. Yeah. I'm just going to hit a little, little 52 bump. Should roll out there a little bit. That yeah, should be pretty good, man. Oh, and we do have gimmies turned on inside six feet because yeah. uh, I don't like hitting short putts, Ben Hogan. <laughs> Especially with these greens on fast, yeah. it's not very, uh, especially with no depth perception either. It makes it a little tough. Yeah. yeah, so here we go. 23 feet uphill, four inches on fast greens, so we're probably going to hit it about 24, 25 feet. Oh, she didn't turn until the end. Oh, wow. All right, take our Roll on. And that's Gerald up one. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your three iron gaff. Yeah. A little bit of misfortune there. Yeah, next. Yeah, big par five. Oh, 
this hole. Big dog leg right. Trouble on the second this shot. This hole, so it's way downhill, right? If y'all can see that, 64 feet downhill from the tee to the green. Whew, into the wind a little bit. Might actually try to hit it straight for once and see what happens. Again. I must need to wait for a second here. My waggle must be getting in the way. Daryl gets a little impatient sometimes. Gets a little over eager. Just gotta hit it hard. <laughs> I think that'll do. Baby draw. Thank God for the downhill. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to keep the profanity to a minimum today as well. <laughs> um, We're going to use a lot of replacement words. We'll say golf instead. The other ex expletives that might pop out when you want to be when you're playing golf. All right. Big so draw. Play huh? a little draw here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That one pretty good. What are you trying to keep up? Look my you. best. Oh, got close. Oh, was that a 300 I saw? A little three bills downhill. Yeah. That'll do. Have I don't fun get with that, that 156 water, too often from that ball speed. So you can see on the map, we got a little lake on the left. Yeah. So, uh, most we'll let likely. Hunter use his 12 handicap strategy skills to yeah. So I don't have a work uh, here. I don't have what you would call a 270 club. So we're gonna go back here in the safe zone because tend to pull my three wood a little bit. It's exactly where that water likes to hang out. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's got to get down. Well, we get our first penalty shots of the day. Hold up, rough. No, oh, mm. boom. Well, got to go to the computer for that one, buddy. Hey, it's par five. We can still get out of here with a par. Well, hopefully, let's check it out. I just hit a stock three wood. Maybe a little tiny, tiny cut. That should be, that should be nope, nice. Blocked it. Blocked it. Hanging out in that bunker. Big hop. Figured a good bounce. Big though. hop. Okay. That was not a big hop. All right. You can put the fairways on soft too. No. That was measly. Fairways are on firm. All right, 106. Six feet up. I'm going to take a 56 here. And hopefully, we're not going to overhit this. Ooh. Beautiful. It's not very, very. Uh Show your impatience there a little bit today, huh? <laughs> uh oh. Got some malfunctions. Yeah. I think it's all this excess light we got going in the room today. Yeah. Well, lights are on now. All right. There, there we go. go. Oh, if I forgot to say before, we are playing on a Unicore IXO system as well. Um, but we've got, you know, three spotlights, panels up, and then we've got the uh, spotlight up above. So yeah. might so, be a little distracting. So these Unicore units run on um, half of the light's infrared that it shoots out. So it's uh, helping it see the white dimples on the golf ball. So whenever you get a exuberant amount of light shining down the golf ball it makes it a little tough for it to read sometimes 
Yeah, don't be surprised if we get some weird spin numbers and stuff yeah. today. Or we just, you know. And for the viewer, so on TGC, any bunker inside 40 yards is going to take off 40%. All the fairway bunkers are going to take off 15%. I believe, what was heavy rough, 15% or 17%? Seven, I think fairway bunkers are 7%. It's in my hotkeys video, if you check that out on our it YouTube is. page. <laughs> I actually have a cheat sheet, we'll bust it out here in a second. Oh, I do. So we got 28 feet downhill, four inches. It's, she's gonna be quick and it's gonna break a lot. Where was it? Okay, so we got oh. light, yeah, light rough seven percent, heavy rough fourteen, Sit. Sit. stairway bunkers seven percent, close bunkers forty percent. Man, that thing just rolled out. All right. Don't like so the putts, man. I think we just got to make a putt here to save par. Is that uphill then downhill? That's no, it ran, it ran pretty quick, especially around the hole. Yeah. So we're just going to hit something like 18 feet. It might have been too much. Yeah, it's a little quick, buddy. You better hope that hits a hole. Oh, you didn't lose your turn. Nope. My yeah. goodness. Call that a FISO. We're not going to tell you what that means, but you can figure it out. That is no fun. 18 feet no. to 17 feet. No, it's not a, that's a scary two putt here. <clears throat> and it's uphill a foot. You had to hit that one harder than you hit the last one. Oh, and it's back down. It didn't break at all. Hmm. Weird, mine broke it. Goodness, oh, plus back three here. to start. It's okay, don't worry. He'll go on a string and get like four birdies. Oh yeah. And then look at that. Well, shucks. How did that come up short? Is this that crazy? Yikes. It's like we're playing a PGA Tour course. Is that crazy par three? Yep. Big old uphill par three. So not in my nature we're gonna normally i'd hit i can actually hit a seven iron on this hole and get it there but i don't like that putt <laughs> so i'm gonna try to cut a little five iron up there today and see how that does since we have the greens on soft my tendency is to overcut these a little bit but or hit it thin and you know basically have oh, a nice shank hey, but it cut well that's fun <laughs> find that single digit short game popping up soon. So, <coughs> I can't hit a seven iron that far. We're gonna tee up a little four here. Well, I obviously can't hit a five iron that far either. So. <laughs> I'm gonna do something wacky and try to hit a ball semi straight. Ooh. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh. That wow. Ball right there, buddy. Look at it. Turn oh, it go in. in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh. Mm. Almost had a live acer. Woo. That would have been pretty nice. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice for the first live. Chris in the system. See, and that's how you follow up a double bogey, everyone. <laughs> right. What did we say her numbers were from heavy rough close to the green? Heavy rough, your I gotta look again. I think seven percent. No, it's light rough. Heavy rough is fourteen percent. There we go. Slightly odd number. I think we could have made it fifteen. Bounce, and somehow it Ooh. checked. Somehow it checked. <sighs> No, that's no fun. And if I remember right, this green actually breaks a little more than it looks. Oh, look at that. Dope. 
Well, don't want to be on a bogey train. Hopefully that's five feet, not six. Ooh, that could uh -oh, be. Let's, uh, see. let's roll the dice here. Could be a tester. Oh, I still got a putt. That's not cool. Oh, that is not cool at all. Buddy. That is. Look at that break. <laughs> all right. Yee. And it's uphill. And it's bit. uphill. And there's a cliff on the left. And we blast it by. Yikes. Please don't have a putt. Please don't have a putt. No, you're in. Please don't have a putt. Oh, did you see it already? Yeah. I, I forgot to look. No. Okay, sure. Yeah, what do we got? All right. Well, to get the box there we go. We do not like sixes and or fours. All right. So this is a fun hole. Somebody decided to be real nice and just throw a tree right in the center of the fairway here. So. Yeah, I should probably think... have done a little course research. I don't know who designed this, but that looks like a, a Robert Trent Jones problem to me. All right. We're going to start. Maybe Kenny can look that up for us while we're, we're in gonna the. We're going to start uh, here to be safe. In the live mode. And he's back there in the background. Mask on. Can't, can't leave the cameraman out. It's the one who's responsible for actually setting all this stuff up. I don't think me and Gerald would have been able to figure it out. Dude, that was hammered. That was. Right at the tree, baby. Hey, it's a good strategy. Yep. Just don't kick right into the... All right. See, we're good. You hit that pretty solid, though. Yeah, that one felt nice. 65. Not peaking, but that's pretty close. All right, I'm not going to look at it because there's a tree in the way, so I'm just going to hit a little baby cut. Hopefully. Baby cut will be pretty nice right there. Again. Oh, just hates it. Does not like my driver. I'm going to have to break out the blue driver, buddy. Yep. Yeah. So that's the other thing 20 about, yards. That's the other thing about Unicors with, uh, since it's infrared and it's, essentially trying to pick out the whitest thing that it can. Black drivers are a little tough for it from time to time. So we usually have to take a little bit more time. He's got the club tape on there, but still every now and then, you know, you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a miss, but. That's all right, it's a good angle. Didn't take the route I wanted, but we'll take three bills. 173, so I should be at probably 188. I can't remember the down. 75. Much. Why have we been into the All wind right. the whole time, huh? Take a six iron. Oh, well, that's don't go far, I guess. It's a little terrifying. Yeah, don't go long. Try to draw a six in here. Oh, a little thin, should be okay. Yeah, you should be good though. Safely in the, uh, safely in the center. Oh, look at it feed. Oh wow, look at that. Oh look, it must be downhill over there. Makes me think I could actually hit a nine. What did, what did I say? It was 173? Yeah, mine's 173. I think yours was like 160. What was it? Oh, nope. Huh. It's weird. <clears throat> Guess I could find my golf mine bag. Was, <laughs> So mine was only two yards shorter from the pin. Yeah, that was that different line. Man, I'm like right in between clubs too. Downhill a little bit. Pretty much one, what did you say, 170, 11 feet downhill? Yeah. Yeah, I usually give it like, um, with that it's like three to four yards, but it's into the wind too, so I'm like right in between eight and a nine here, but I guess if you hit it thin oh. off the heel, that well, might be an eight, 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 buddy. I think that is. Yeah, look at that big hop. Okay, I think we're going to turn that spotlight off. Yeah, I think we might need to. Uh, yeah. So if you get a misread, it's going to say eight, eight, eight under your backspin. Eight, 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 two, two, two. Doesn't happen very often, but anytime I see that, feel like how did that do with the picture and stuff I 
Ah, it looked to be a little bit more uh, more accurate there, Gerald. Yeah, that should kick nice. Oh yeah, his feet right on down there. Hmm. Hunter's like outplaying me today already. <laughs> Got to make some things happen here. Oh man, this thing's gonna be. Well, it's a double. Oh, yeah, double breaker uphill. Hmm. I think it's pretty straight. Pushed it. Pushed it. Watch the stat. One degree right. Oh, it says straight. Huh. Felt like a push. Red like a push. What up, my? Get to see you in a couple weeks. Be great. Bring your sticks if you get time. You can go uh, twilight round out of the PGA when nobody's around. <laughs> did you make that putt? I did make that putt, sir. Oh, look at that, back to even. Oh. Hunter came to play today. Got to work on my match play skills, you know. <laughs> got to let him feel like he's, con like he's got some confidence, lead him on a little bit. Let's see. Squash him at the end. To have my, if you're still on there, comment your website. Might have been a little soft. Yep. Oop. I'll stick my face in the camera. That's all right. Good putt. I'll take that. Good stat. Zeros. Whole bunch of zeros. Yep. Oh, look at that. Another double breaker. We're going to play the beginning break. Go downhill. Oh, it's looking good. No! Oh, I talked to your ball. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to get your mouth off my I ball, know. man. I don't know what that's I've been about, on him all man. week. Mouth all over that ball. Six feet, please be in. <laughs> Do not want to hit that putt. Oh, oh he's got God. in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. All right, pretty much the same kind of hole here, except we're shorter. Strategy. Let's Strategy see. session. So, hey, bring up the map real quick so we can talk about this. So, if we look, it's 280 to the end of the fairway. Um, you've got that short bunker and then a long bunker. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you're Bryson, you can just hit it over everything and, you know, hope you get in a bunker. But for us laymen playing golf, Hunter, I think, will be good. If he hammers yeah. a driver, he might get to the end of the fairway because yeah. it's uphill nine feet. For me, I'll probably end up hitting a two iron, to be honest. Just lay back and yeah. you know, I'll take that 115, 120 yard shot in there. Because even if Gerald laces a three wood, it's still going to go about that far. All right. Yeah, I think my three wood goes farther than my driver most of the time. <laughs> right. Wind should help a little bit, too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That'll do. Oh, that was a bad bounce. Sit. Oh yeah, we're gonna sit right there. That's perfect, dude. Now, last time I tried to hit a cut with my two iron, it ended up off the cliff. So we'll see what we can do today with this one. You got a little blimp up there. We do. You got a little blimp. Too much. A little much cut there. Might actually have a line at the green if it doesn't take a Hit the cart terrible path. Hop. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's okay. Well, try to be nice and conservative. We're just not going to play that game from here out since we're basically oh, we playing a, a match play. Where's the pin? Should have just put it on match play, Hunter. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't either. That'd been pretty good. We'll have to do that next time. Oh, that 
one struck well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How thick was that rough? It was, was pretty heavy. Flushed. Should have been pretty late. heavy, a little uphill, too. Wow. Guess maybe I should have drew that instead of cut that. Or well, tried to cut it. Obviously, they didn't. Uh, I can't hit cuts. <laughs> He's right. Gerald's cut's a straight ball. I'm working on it. I can do it from time to time. It's been my uh, being in here really does help being able to try to figure that stuff out. It's a little clunky. I don't think she was ready, buddy. Nah. Um, Doesn't like this wedge. It's that shiny. Yeah. All the grind's starting to come off. Oh, and just yank it when it reads. Just absolutely yank. Give me a kick. No. Whoa. It's well deserved. Not my uh, forte. Better. I'm getting better. Oh, where's that ball going? Okay, Mike can't hit a cut either. <laughs> All right. Just got to get up and down. I think I'm just going to bump one right into the side of that hill. Bold strategy. Bold strategy. And get paid off. Ooh, seven feet. Seven feet. Five. Ooh, let's see. I got this monster putt that's going to break like 75 times. Oh, and I still got to make the putt. Goodness. Well, at least it all goes the same way. Man, that's a big ask, dude. Uphill two feet. And it barely breaks once you get past that first bit. Yeah. I remember this putt last time. Because you're hitting it hard enough through this first part, it's barely going to break. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to stick with it. Probably a little too much, but. 48 feet. Uphill two feet oh, is a, a very roll. hard judge. Great roll. It's going to be six feet. Oh, five feet. Dude. I will leave it out there. that we gotta, all day long. We got to start using all the golf balls. Show yeah, we got some accessories to show you all in a little bit that are pretty cool. Um, a couple of them we have on the website. Another one we're going to be hopefully plugging in here pretty soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. You miss it? Well, I get the box back then. Ha, 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 ha. Um, yeah, wow. so check this out. So this is one thing that you see us using quite a, quite a bit. This is a Rocks Order box we have on our website. Um, basically, it's just we use it for controlling the game. So this is like if you're playing on a video game on Tiger Woods, this is what you use instead. So you've got, you know, like your... Enter button, which on here is pretty important. You're right, change it right and left. Club change, map, target, mulligan, which I'm quite good at using that button. The button's about to break. Um, yeah, this is a cool little accessory. Uh, we'll cover a couple more here. We're on number seven, so I'll go through a couple more as we go through. You know, obviously a ball tray. I think a ball tray, anytime you're using a simulator, is just nice to have. It's very nice to have. Um, Keeps your balls clean. It makes it easier to keep your screens and stuff like that clean as well. So they're very nice to have. Uh, so this hole, this is a cool hole. We're going to 224 downhill, 13 feet. But you see there's a giant bunker on the left. There's a little bunker short on the right. Um, for me, this is typically a, like if it's 224 flat, I'd hit a four iron. We've got a little tailwind, um, and it's downhill. So I'm going to hit a five and try to basically run it up. Uh, and then it's going to come hard off the right side. So if I land it right, it should work out pretty good. Maybe we can get that hole in one we were talking about. Chris in the system. Oh, I yanked. Yep. Oh, that might get a nice kick off the side of that bunker, though. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah. And chip that one in. All right. I got a simulator a. golf. This will be a uh, grinder in the real life. All right. And 
we're going to try to absolutely pipe a three iron. Uh oh, that's well, going to be trouble. It's a good thing we're not riding in the same cart, bud. Yeah, need some long walks. Uh oh. Oh no, in the path. Oof. It's like we're going to have some fun up and downs on this hole. Oh, mine's easy. Yours is pretty easy. Straight up the hill. Ooh, man, that's not where you want to be on a part three, especially that branch hanging what in your face. What is that tree doing? Oh, it's not oh, no, we're right. fine. In we're fine. Tree. All right, so we're just going to try to run this up, like, maybe hit a 30-footer. Going to have to hit that uh, shot that you hit on succeed all the time on the short game. Yeah, challenge. right. Should be it. Yep. Whoa! Oh, no spin whatsoever out of the rough. Huh, that's a little unique. That usually doesn't happen like that. Mm -mm. That's usually supposed to catch. Not a whole lot of backspin on that, though. We're going to blame these tricks on balls. Ooh. Oh, man. Man. That was a good shot. You can try to do a little chunk and run on that. <laughs> Still check. Well, it looks like <laughs> I may have a slightly straight putt. Really you haven't seen that bunker or that video yet. Bunker shots. Go check it out. It's also on our YouTube page. Oh, pulled it. Honor hit the uh, cut putt. Probably powered it through. See that? Might it's have about that seven. club path there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Something we got to work on. One thing I have noticed with these is they don't spin a lot off the tee, which I kind of like. They're nice. I like the firmness of this ball. Because what is this? The XD? Mm hmm. We're always and testing new balls, so it seems like every time I get a batch, I get a different ball. Yeah. yeah that's the fun thing about the IXO. Oh, get to, man. Uh, we get to try out all kinds of different balls, check out the different spin rates, you know, kind of figure out what ball is going to be right for, for each of us. Like I was comparing these Srixons to the, <coughs> you know, the $20 Pinnacle Rush balls that you can get at the uh, course. That's what I prefer since I like to hit Tate or Pro V1 straight into the water. Hmm. Saves me a little bit of money. This is not a good strategy hole for Gerald. All right, what do we got? Uh, pretty straight, pretty long. <coughs> hmm. Guess we're just going to have to try to hit it straight. If that's possible, we'll tee it down a little bit. Little toey, get some love Here's for a kick. A little bit more. Yep, Oof. that's what I did last time I played this course too. <laughs> now we just get to hit that eight iron out of the bunker, right? All right. So the plan here is to be able to kind of get it up over these trees a little bit. Oh, he hit it straight. figured out how to hit a cut. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Oh, boy. That'll be fun. A little fun for the crowd today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so here's where we can talk strategy. <laughs> That's me. Probably going to hit a two iron through the gap and just be stupid. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know, buddy. That's tough. That's a tough call. Snap hook it. 
Yeah, it's, oh, it's definitely going to be something very snappy, that's for sure. Mm. Don't try this at home. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> really, if I can just punch it straight out over into that rough, I think we'll be pretty, we'll be fine. Well, Ooh, that was a bad bounce. I'll have to say, everybody, I think that's about as good as we could get that shot. That was pretty good. Pretty happy about that. Yeah. Leaving the door open. A little bit of Seve action there. Right. <laughs> Seve would have been in the hole. Would have been proud. So yeah, stock yeah, eight he's, iron, guys. He's six feet away. 160 uphill nine out of the bunker. Flushed it. A little too much hook. <whistles> hammered it. Absolutely hammered it. Oh, they're releasing off this green pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a fun 40 foot putt. <laughs> yeah, 125 ball speed. I hit that good, huh? Yeah, it's, yeah you struck that one pretty good. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can save the hole here. Ooh. Oh, it's Ooh. got to spin a little. Just a Good little. Check. There Good. we go. Good shot, bud. Maybe five feet. A little bogey. Four feet. Or a little par. Good little par. Nice save for just going straight into the woods. So there's something else I like to do, too. You know, as the teacher in me, I like to check out the data and see, you know, path and face. Obviously, like that, we saw that ball hook a little bit too much, right? So... Swing path into out four degrees, and then uh, club face closed point two degrees. So, what ideal in that in order to hit the straight ball, my club face should have been open two degrees. But that closed point two degrees obviously got me that little extra hook and that little extra run out on it too. But I'll still take the you know one twenty five ball speed with an eight iron. That that does me all right. But it's cool to be able to see your stats like that when you're playing. All right, 40 footer, downhill a foot, not fun. It's going to be very fast. It's probably going to break several miles. Hope that's enough. 40. Man, I'm only going to have to hit this thing like 20 feet, dude. Oh, I would definitely say our green. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Boom. 40 footer for the bird. Good thing it hit the hole. <laughs> Nine. I can't right, we remember. We got a little bit of a gap here. This is this a driver hole? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better hit driver. 480. Now on tour. You look up, you see the map, and you see that really narrow part there. I can't hit it that far, so I'm not worried about it. Tour guys might actually have to hit three wood off this hole because of that neck, that little narrow neck. But, you know, they're hitting three wood 320 half the time, so. And if I remember correctly, once you get past that second bunker, so pretty much standard. everything feeds just completely off the fairway. It's going to yeah. be real tough to hold one there. I'm trying to hit it basically straight at the second bunker. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't smoke that one. Oh, yeah, right? We are nine, almost to the turn. Oh, that'll be nice. Look at that. I think that's about as good as you can get on this one. Man, I ain't gotten turned into an old short knocker, bro. I didn't hit that very solid, but 134 club speed, obviously, that was not correct. She does not like my black driver. No. We go for the same approach.
Uh oh. Then to win. Then to win. Get there. Yikes. Perfect. Look at that. If you're going to miss it, miss it straight. Manageable. Have fun on that next shot. Manageable miss. It's only oh, 250. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to... Man, that is a narrow green, too. We're going to have to scoot this three-wood up there and just cross our fingers, maybe to land in a bunker, stop it. Hunter's just praying here. He didn't even look at his target. He's just going to hit it and hit it and hope. He doesn't par four. Not a bad plan. Well, that's going to be a little short, but I think we should be safe. Unless it just starts kicking left. I think it's going to... That's all right. All right. That's a manageable, yeah. manageable up and down there. 20 yards. You got that shot. You only practice it all day. Yep. Oh, man. 202. Pins in the front, too, huh? Yeah. Try to try it try again. To, we'll see if we can cut a five. Try to drop one on there. Big bounce. Look at that. Great shot. Not quite a cut, but that's a cut for me. <laughs> cut just means a small draw. <laughs> <laughs> My path was better. It's only in out too. 20 yards. Oh. Dude, that might have been a little fur. Oh, you're bumping it, huh? Oh, we were trying to. Oh, so you hit that shot very often. It's a lot easier to manage than flopping some of those balls. Oh, wow. That is no fun, dude. So these short downhill putts like this break a lot. Um, downhill always breaks a little bit more than uphill. Uh, especially in the game. Probably exaggerates it a little bit too much, but this is going to be fast. And I do not want to get past that hole. Almost rather just leave it short and take yeah. my par. Look at how much that turned. Yeah. Oh, look at it take off, too. Man, I only hit that about seven feet. Maybe. <laughs> wow. That was a tough putt. I'd love that in real life. Struggling over here getting the ball. All right. Oh, you didn't wait. I'm rushing it. Where's John? I'm missing John's commentary today. I don't know. I don't know why I can't hear him. I might have forgot to turn on the uh, direct X. Did you miss that putt? I cannot make a short putt today. This is rough. I'm picking up the balls. Oh, another thing. Bag buddy. It's great for us in here because we have this floor. Um, but even if you just have a landing pad or you've got carpet or whatever out in front of you, these things are awesome to pick up balls. Um, it's actually was created you got different versions. You've got the bag buddy that we have on our website is kind of the, the one for golf, but um, they also use these to pick up like acorns and stuff like that, but it's easy to run. Empty the balls out. Super light, easy to put together. I love this thing. This has been like a great addition to our setup here, especially Hunter gets in the habit of hitting 50 balls out there and then I don't want to pick them up. Yeah. Too much on the back to pick all those balls up. Yep, my back's not great to begin with. All right, should probably try a Pro V and try to hit a cut with it, but we'll see if I can make a Strix on cut. Last time I played this hole, I was so far left, it wasn't funny, so. Oh! Oh, would you look at that. I pulled it off. Just needs another foot. Oh, oh rough man. Kick. Well, I guess I get a layup now. 
301. Goodness. I don't think we're I don't think we're getting here in two, Gerald. No. Maybe if I was on the fairway, if that took a fairway bounce and I had an extra 15, 20 yards out of it. I might not go for it anyway with that lake down there by the green. I can't believe it aimed me that far left. I see there's a mental mistake when you're playing golf is check your target. Look at your yardage book. Don't forget you got one or your GPS or your laser. Or your phone, oh, whatever that might, that might overdo it. Nowadays. Oof. Yeah, it's good See, at least zone. you hit it. At least when you hit it in the rough, you hit it far enough up there. Doesn't really help when I hit my short drive and hit it in the rough. But good thing is now my three wood won't be able to reach that water. I think. Now something to note about Hunter for everybody. He's six seven. Played professional baseball. He was a left hand pitcher. So he played the what do you call it? Independent ball? Yeah. Played yeah, in played college, stuff like that. College ball, indie ball. But we see him here playing golf right handed. And he's left eye dominant. So he's got some things working against him there with his eye dominance, but we're working. He's done a really good job. He's gotten a lot better here in the last, well, what have you been here, about eight months, nine months now? So, oh, oh what a terrible bounce. What a kick. Yeah, I think it's been about, uh, I think we're on the nine-month mark now. What did it say I was, 301? Yep. How far is it to that water? That would be. Looks like you're only about 250. Good to know. I don't want to be that far down there. <coughs> we'll just plug a six iron out. I'd go a little farther left. No, I'll be all right. I'm going to hit a draw. <laughs> you know how this game works, Hunter. Actually, I'm going to hit a five. Let's see if I can get a little bit of roll out of it. Get it down there to a hundred. Maybe 90 yards. Not with that shot, we're not. Catch that one a little thick. That's all right. Still a good number away. Yeah. I'd rather be where you are than where I am. This is true. Because now I think I've got to hit a cut wedge out of the rough over that pond if I want to go at the pin. Since that pin's in the left, I can't really game for a fat side of the green. There's a big old hill back behind there, though. I just saw that. I think I'm going to hit it off yeah, that I hill. Might, that's, that might be the play. A little trap draw with the gap wedge from 130. You caught that clean. Too much. Too much yeah. trap. So you might just sit, probably sit in that collection area. The right stick actually. I was kind of hoping it would take a big hop and hit that hill and back off. But if you don't hit the green from 130 yards, you might not All want right. to. Uh, we got a little. We got a little lucky here with this. Uh, with this line. So fun fact about TGC is if you hit a single leaf on a tree, it's basically like you hit a brick wall. You really gotta just try to avoid the trees completely. Ooh, that was Not like lucky. that. That's going in the water. Did you hit that on the toe a little bit? Oh, it was off the toe. It was fat. It didn't sound that bad. I mean, I must be going deafer than I thought. Let that left ear point towards you is probably a bad idea. Now we got to really pop one up in the air. You didn't give it time. No. Patience, patience is the key. Where are we at here? Chipping this in for par. Not a great look. <clears throat> Should be pretty tasty. Oh, none. Wow. Hmm. Wow.
All right, so for me, these are really fun shots to hit. Um, these little 10, 11 yarders, this obviously is going to go downhill. It's got a little break, so I'm going to play that. And I've got a 60 here. I think in real life, yeah, I'd still play this shot in real life. I'm actually going to open the face a little bit, hit like a little, basically I call it a flop chip. Not quite full on flop chip, but I'm going to open the face a little bit and get a little check out of it. Well, guess we're not going to do that today. No check. A little bit of downhill there. Wow. Hmm. Guess I better chip this in, huh? Watch, this one will check, and it's going to be meant to be a runner. Ooh. Oh. Man, I got to stop making bogeys on par fives. I got to stop hitting it in the water. No, I thought I forgot we were done with the front nine. Here's your update. The hunter is down by two currently going for a bogey putt. It's gonna blow on this ball. Oh, let's come on. Come out. Oh! And you lip. Give me a break here. Open the door, bro. Gosh, what is that now? Four strokes? All right, we got to bounce back. I think on this hole I can hit driver. What do y'all think the cut line's going to be this course? Uh, mm. Man, at this course, we are not hitting a driver on that hole. I think at this course, cut's going to be like four or five under. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, I'd say um, somewhere around three to four. Just how tight it is. But I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the winner shoots 18 or 20 under. Um, and I haven't checked the full field yet to see who's there. Um, but it's not usually one of those events where a bunch of big name players are in it. Yeah, they were Just all playing we, last week. Well, and we've got like the Scottish Open, the Irish Open, that stuff leading up to the Open Championship coming. So <clears throat> yeah, I probably need to make my bets with Myrig before he gets down here. See what his uh, where his Welshness lies. So we're gonna hit a two iron because I don't want to go to the end of the fairway, even though it's 440. I don't want to go through. Ooh, that's a beauty. Ooh, that's a nice ball. Perfect. Exactly where I wanted Goodness. to be. Man, maybe I should just hit this off the tee every time. Yeah, for real. It's 265 down the middle. We'll take that all day. I think it's a little downhill, too, so we can probably hit a nine. I'm going to need to take some risks here if I want to catch up. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, minus four, minus five is going to be the cut. Uh, you know, a tournament like this, a lot of people go low. It's a big showcase for a lot of guys to, you know, win. We'll see how Zach Johnson, see if Zach Johnson's playing. Maybe we'll get Strick out there again. He likes to win here, so. Kick a left for me. There we go. And it's always good to have Steve playing, get, playing on the PGA Tour. You know, he's 53 or something now and just still making cuts every time he plays. It's pretty incredible. He's won this event a few times, too. Oh, still you, buddy. Yeah. So y'all can really see the difference between the guy who's coached golf most of his life and the guy who swung a baseball bat left-handed. When he did swing a bat. Yeah, when I did. <laughs> For some reason, they just really wanted me to throw the ball. Well, when you look like Randy Johnson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude was my idol. Randy Johnson, if you're watching this, give me a call. Oh, fat again. Pull enough Hook. that it gets there. Ooh, that's going to be nice, dude. That actually Watch might. Watch this bounce. Oh, look at that. I might go in the hole. Man, that must be uphill. And seven footer. What did, we, what did I say I got? I had 171, right? <clears throat> yep. 
just going to hammer a nine and see what happens. I'm going to play a big hook on this one, though, so I can get it running up there a little bit. And we're going to shank it right into the trap. Mm-hmm. I am not hitting it solid today. This is a good, good lesson, though, for your, your average golfers out there. You can hit it like trash all day and still be three over after ten holes. <laughs> See what the break does here. Drive for show, putt for dough. That's right. I think at least four of my strokes were missed. Missed putts inside ten feet. I'm sure you guys can see just how you know just how close these actually play to the real courses. You know you can, and you can make it easier. You know you can put the greens on super soft. You know, make the greens slow so they don't break as much. Um, but after, with how oh, long that we've that messed hard? around with it and play it, I think we got a misread there. That was definitely a misread. Why am I the one that keeps getting um, getting the misreads? Oh yeah. no! All right. So what happened there? So what'll happen when you're chipping around the green with TGC is if you're up on too much of a slope, it's going to put some of that slope immediately yeah. into your swing. So like if you were sitting with your foot you know, a foot above the ball, Definitely that ball's already going to pop up. So I've seen that a few times, but it's just, a, it's kind of, it's a little inconsistent. It's unfortunate for me at this point in yeah. time. No, he didn't. Oh, whew. We needed that, guys. What's that? So we needed that. All right, we got to drain this putt, see if we can't get one stroke back on him. Oh, that's fun. Yep. Oops. Hey, same putt we've had all day. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. He gets one back. Right? Oh, I think that might be a two, two stroke swing. Yes, sir. Oh, is that the bird? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. He's getting close. It's okay. I guess it's time to, like, stop being nice. <laughs> Make some birdies. So what should our score spread be? Probably, like, six to eight strokes? I don't know. Probably less because I play this. I've played this so much. It's – I could probably beat better golfers than me on here just because I understand how to play everything. Yeah. I'd say on, on the game, you know, like in real life playing golf with honor is – He's definitely a 12. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no... Um, no he breaks 80, he's going to throw a big party and oh, have yeah. some fun. Oh, but yeah. on here, he'll shoot under 80. He's pretty consistent, where I'm actually probably closer to real life for me. That's got to come back. And oh. he's got a phenomenal short game on this thing, too, because he practices it, like, every morning when he comes in, he does short game challenges and stuff on the Unicor software, so. Yeah, it's usually, usually I try to do at least 30 minutes to an hour of it. And that seems to be the thing that actually, you know, actually really help on the course. You never know what's going to happen when you go out there. It's really just, I found the more I can manage my missed shots, which are, you know, just bound to happen. You know, I'm not a professional. Don't really plan on you know, spending eight to 12 hours at the course every day. So you gotta be a little bit, uh, little bit realistic with some of the results you're looking for. Oh, that was a nice ball. Striped it though. Oh yeah, you did. Did a little too well. Oh, where's my club face needed to be open? One more degree. All right. Oh, that's fun. Got a bit of a hill here. 27 yard bunker shot way up a mound. All that's right. great stuff. That's real great. That should be pretty close. Rip. Oh, look at him playing the backspin and still seven feet. No! Oh, I, I don't know. I think it's like six and a half feet. There's no way that's in. Oh, we're in! Look at you being all lucky. Watch this. Going to check on me like my last one didn't.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not bad. Where's my turn? Where's my break? Let's get up and downs. All right, it's the last hole you're going to have the box. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's all about the psychological game. Got to get in there. That's why I talk to his ball all the time. My ball listens to him more than it does. <laughs> if you ever play in a tournament, bring me along. I'll just yell at all your balls for you. Now, for the viewers, I am talking about a golf ball. Let's just clarify everything right now. Or someone makes an odd clip of me talking about balls. That was smoked, buddy. Oh, yeah. Almost 260 in the air. We'll take yeah. that all day. Wow. So, How far uphill is that? Uh, not much, but look at that oh, backspin. Back spin. Yeah. yeah, so I don't have the proper shaft in this club. I really need to go get a, uh, get a low spin shaft. Been working on it for a while, but it's tough to... Uh, Sure, it looks like I'm smashing the ball. They just only go about 260. I think with those, some of the softer balls get me a lot less spin off the tee, but then they won't do anything that I, that I need on the greens or with the irons. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to hit it straight, huh? Straight is where it's at on this hole, apparently. Or maybe middle. we gonna hit it Should into get the over trap. That trap though. Oh well, got over the first one. Okay, I've liked those left sand traps today. Those bunkers on the those fairway bunkers. Oh yeah, they definitely punish the uh, they definitely punish the pool on this course. Wow, right. it's a nice it's a nice stockade iron. Got to listen to my own videos and my own swing advice and hold that face off a little bit, huh? Let's get, oh, the wind might just balance this out. A little toey? Wow, just a little bit, but it didn't feel like it was that bad. That's gonna shoot right. Oh, that could've been worse. Work. Chip it in. Yeah. All right, fairway bunker. Uphill. Well, let's just not try to hit it all the way over the green this time. Oh, wind. Dude, I'm, my hands are quick today. Ooh. They are quick today. Yeah. Yeah, you're lacing those irons. Wow. 120 ball speed. With a nine. Goodness. Maybe it's just the combination of the Strixon iron, Strixon balls. Must be, man. They just, maybe they made that ball just for those irons. Oh man, doesn't check when I want it to, checks when I don't want it to. All right. We've been working on this shot. Oh yeah, you have. A little bump and run? Oh yeah. It's uphill a little bit, so we'll put a little bit more in. Oh, it's going to be short. Yeah, you needed to take oh. uh that's not too bad. No, it's not bad, though. I was going to say you needed to take a 50. little bit less loft, yeah. Yeah, I maybe mean, like a 56. It, seemed e it seems easier with the 52, but I haven't used it enough to know how far it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold that part. Double breaker. Oh, I did say this last hole you're going to have the box. I guess I lied. Go. Oh man, it was supposed to come back at the end. That was a good putt. 
Yeah, I, thought, I mean, I thought it was in the whole Those way. lines were coming back yeah. the other way. Huh, weird. Yeah, perfectly square. Well, I guess I lost another one. Look, Hunter's making it a match. Hey, here we go. Making it a match. Time to stroke. I should act like I know how to play golf. Uh, all right, so. This is fun. I don't know who decided to put a tree right there. But that looks, I don't know if that's just a tree way off in the, oh, yeah, that's a giant, giant forest way off in the background. Okay. This reminds me of, uh, oh, this is just weird. Another hole. This is a, yeah. All right. I think I'm going to have to hit a, we have to try to hit a cut. I think a draw is just going to get stopped by that tree. Open up that face. Oh, he pulled it off. Look at that. We just learned to cut yesterday <coughs> for everybody out there. Gerald spent eight months teaching me how to not hit a cut, so then I just could hit a draw. So now we had to go back to the basics. Look at so, that. Pretty happy about that. It's a good ball. Thank you. We're going to uh, get See if I can't get it on the other side of that ridge, funnel it down to the hole a little bit. I actually try to keep my face open this time. Nope. Double over. Oh man. And I hammered it too. Yeah, you're definitely striking the ball well today. Yeah, just gotta get my lines. Nice. Almost 300. Mm-hmm. All you, buddy. 88. All right. Here's the distance we've been waiting for. Oh, yeah. This is like your. This is my favorite. Ready to go yardage, huh? Yeah. So, another thing, viewers, we are playing from the tips, which on a real course, I would never even sniff, if I'm being honest. We just got to build his confidence up to be able to do that. <laughs> Should be right in the wheelhouse. A little, a little draw. It's got to spin. And I thought the wind was going to knock that down more than that. Oh, there we go. There oh, we go. Come on. Be good. Going to hole ball. Nice bird. Man, I'm going to have to do something now. 84 out of Turned the rough. Turn it on today, guys. Turn it on. What's it going to read into the wind? Oh, get up. Okay. Well, never sure out of those rough lies what it's actually going to No, the rough ones are tough. It's like just enough off that you're like, eh, I can probably push through that. Make a sand that was par some, and get beat. That's some pretty impressive spin on that ball. <laughs> oh, I meant to spin it. That was. Uh, you usually get a little out of those bunkers, so that was. Look at you on the back nine. Hey, man. Bro. I do. I did remember that the front nine of this course was definitely a bit more, a uh, bit more of a struggle. I think it is helping that I can now hit a cut from time to time. Yeah, it's never a bad thing to have no. multiple shots in your repertoire. And now what I noticed, a lot of these tour courses, you know, I've got a lot of courses at home that pretty much just call for like a draw or they just call for a cut. A lot yeah. of these tour courses really make you just go back and forth and back and forth. That is the thing down here. You either got a draw course or a fake course. Yeah. Do you have any idea oh. how many golf courses we have in Dallas, by the way? Oh, big Oh, come on. That's going to be a nice bounce. Oh, Look man. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Go. Oh, no. Oh, and he got hosed by it at the same Absolutely time. Absolutely hosed. 
some thick rough. I'm sure that's actually pretty accurate to how the rough is. <sighs> All right, Hunter, we're trying one more time. There oh, it is. Wow. It's got to get boring to sit in the ball that dead straight. Yeah, on here. We got a par five here, right? No, I have no idea. I think so. You just hit that 290 and it still looks like you're a country mile. Uh, 190 left. Par four. Yeah, I'm just a crazy, crazy long par four. Yeah, 490, you know, that's, that's fun. All right, so we're going to. This is our play here. You can go down the path? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to try to hit a nice low, nice low little draw with a three iron. And maybe, just maybe it'll get out around in front of the green. That's about as good as it's going to get. Don't hit it. How low did that hit on the screen for that thing to rock it back like that? Uh, I don't know. It's my launch angle. Six degrees? That's solid. <laughs> That's solid. All right. Wind in the face. Uphill a little bit. We should be pretty stock. Seven iron. Pins in the middle. Play a draw. Just a little bit of a draw. Blocked it. Back a little bit more. It's right Maybe club. Kicked left a little bit. Yeah, you would have thought, huh? It's the right club, though. At least my distance was right for once. <laughs> Bit of green to work with. What videos we got this week, Kenny? What's coming out? This week? Yeah. We got uh, that one. This week it's coming out with uh, the short game complex. Short game complex? Okay. So, yeah, check out the Unicorn series. And he drains it. Look at this kid. This kid's on fire. <laughs> um, so, yeah, check out the series we got on the Unicorn <laughs> softwares. You know, I think a lot of people have questions about those. You know, a lot of times when people buy core systems, they just get it with TGC so they either have the view with the IXO or the Ignite, which they did just update Ignite, mm -hmm. if you haven't seen that update yet. Um, big improvements. You can actually see the full driving range now, not just that little window. No. So it's kind of cool to oh you get man, the dual, be fast. dual screen action, you get all your numbers yeah. on, keep all your numbers on one screen, keep the range on another one. Wow, did it break? How did it break that much? Did you see that? Oh goodness! Wow, Is that, was that a misread? <laughs> wow! And Hunter chips it in. So Hunter takes the lead, and now I have to make a crazy putt just to come back and make par. Oh, what a putt. What a putt. Look at this kid, man. What's the scorecard say? He's got three birds on Jeez. the bat. <laughs> and I got a bunch of red. All right, I guess it's birdie time. Okay, nice little short par three. Looks like there is no room in front. We got a lot of wind. Oh, we got a slope back there. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to club up and hit an eight. And we're going to try to hit one a little bit straight. He really does like the beach, though, guys. Oh, very thin. Yeah, big cut. 
Man, he has gotten some lucky bounces. Today. Yeah, that one's not bad. Uh, that was going in the bunker for sure. All right. A little nervous with this wedge. It's kind of in between the clubs. But we got, it's like a perfect number for my wedge, but it's a uh, little tiny bit of wind in the face. So. Made me nervous, and it should have. And I guess I like the beach. I'm gonna have to start talk, stop talking smack. <laughs> Hunter's taking me to the tool shed here. I like it though, it's fun. This is one there, the 52's probably. Yeah, I don't know, that looks like it, does it run away from you? I can't, it looks like it's going downhill, so I might just be able to go like, maybe a, Barely to the end. Might be too much. Oh no. It's a good shot. Go a little more. We're still gonna have to make a putt. All right, well, we got a little bunky action here. Fried egg. Oh. Well, this will be fun. Oh, it didn't come back. Thought it would spin more off that it's hill. A really hard yardage, nine yards. Yeah, nine yard, <laughs> nine yard up and down out of the sand. Man, down two inches. Let's see if I can put this off the green. How? Didn't break at all. Oh, you, you pushed, pushed it a little bit? Just a touch, but I did it on purpose. Like, I thought I didn't play enough because it was downhill. No, nope, looks like we're giving up another one. Already down by two. Guess not. Keep going, ball. Keep Goodness. going. Keep going. And that's why my handicap's an 11 and not a five. That is way too much red, buddy. All right. Got a par five. Let's just, we're going to forget about that hole. It's not a long par five. No, not super long. Surprising that there's only one 600, 600 yard one. Well, I'm sure they're playing from different tees. And Oh yeah, available. I think what is also. this one was 70, 74, 70, 70 something. I think. Yeah, it's like 74, 75, something like that. Uh oh. Ooh, that's. I don't know what's right. over there. I don't think it's anything good though. Forest. Well, you got an opening. You'll be yeah. all right. It's still carried a little bit. Gonna play it as it is. Well, he left me an opening and I didn't take it. <laughs> and that is deep in the junk. Oh, looks like we both get to take a little creative shot here. I don't think mine's gonna be that creative. No, it's still you. Oh man, that's a big. Big lip to get over. Always gonna have to hit a fire iron. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's probably where it's gonna end up. Maybe go a little farther. Or Hunter might want to be uh, trying that little high cut we worked on this week. Mm -hmm. Doubled over, we'll be hitting out of the rough again. 
It's only, only have 140. Oh, 170. Oof. That's more than I wanted. Well, this should be fun. See that little banana hook? Oh, she's a coming. <laughs> now, me personally, this is one of my favorite shots to actually take on the course. I think this is way too much fun to just see the ball, the ball curve like that. So we're hitting a snap two iron. Hopefully it doesn't look too much before it gets to that third tree. Oh, I think it's going to be perfect. Oh, the tree knocked it down. It down. Oh, I still gonna ripped be that thing too, yeah. man. Still going to be closer than me. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah I a couple yards short. smoked it. Yeah, if that wouldn't hit that tree, you'd be... I would have been sitting pretty. Oh, and we're up nine. It's hard to see an overhanging branch 40 yards in front of you. <laughs> when you're in the forest. Well, oh, that ball was pured. Oh, give me a better hop. <sighs> Riding the struggle bus in this hole. Good. <laughs> what hole are we on? We're on 17. I got to make up a shot. Guess I better hit this pretty tasty, huh? A little cut action. Hit it fast. Let's see. It's okay. We'll make a putt. I don't know. Would I rather have the chip or the putt? Not that putt. And uh, well, you've made one 40 footer today. Fifteen yarder. Ooh, that should be good. Sit. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess my putt's gonna be way up a hill, huh? How does that happen? Actually, that's. Should be me, but 23 miles an hour. Club maybe came back a foot. Oh, goodness. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Play it off the mound, uphill two feet again. I didn't hit that. Mm -mm. I did not even come close to hitting that. I think my wife would have hit a better putt. <laughs> I know she's not watching because she's at work, but. All right. Well, this is no picnic either, man. No, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. Just be happy if we can get it in the five feet, save our bogey and get out of here. I don't think it's going that far past. Oh no. Just uh -oh. please, please. Woo! Got away with it. Now, something else I noticed too with the sick flooring. It is a putting green. We do put a premium putting turf on here. It runs about nine and a half, ten on the stint meter depending on which way the grain's actually going, but I love this thing. We've got four holes as, as it comes. We put four holes in and we got two in the corners and then two up front, so sometimes on these fun, these breaking putts, I like to hit them over in the hole, but since Hunter's beating me, we can't do that today. Oh, look at that. No. Oh, I gotta stop talking to his ball. He's gonna fire me. Oh. Can't can't win, Hunter. It's only one stroke. Oh, this is fun. Terrifying fun. par four. Show me where to go. 
Hopefully you don't have to end up like Strick in the, in the back back bunker there or the behind the green, chip it in. All right. So I'm going to start it here and try to hit a draw because I don't think we want to be on that. It does not look like you want to be on the right side of the fairway and have to hit a cut that goes over that water. So we're going to try to unload on one. Sounds like fun. Uh-oh. Now, everybody, I don't know if you remember me saying that's not where uh, we wanted to go. That is called giving Gerald a chance. And he gets you have the got to be kidding me. in the history of golf just now, ladies that's and gentlemen. That's unfortunate. That's, huh. At least there's water on the left. Yep. <laughs> everybody say thank you to the golf gods for me there. Really appreciate that one. All right. <laughs> Is that my rig? He cranks it. Maybe a little far Is left. Is that going to go into that bunker? I don't think so. It's going to be pretty good. You're fine on the light rough. Yeah. Good angle. 90. Good Oof. miss. That's fun. That's a that's a long one. He's got the lead, ladies and gentlemen. We got water on the left, trees on the right, sand on the right, pins on the right. Let's see, if we do anything, we're going into this. We're going into this bunker right here. What do we do? Trees overhanging the fairway. Uh oh. Don't put no pressure on Hunter here. <clears throat> Bottom of the ninth, we got two outs, full count. Let's see what he does. Stripes it. Right through the, oh, did it get through the opening? I think it did. And we're going to take that all day, nice and safe in that big bunker. All right, last shot. If he haven't hit a good one yet, might, might be time. He sticks this one. I have a little bit of pressure. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh. Overdrawn. It's this live network audience making me nervous. All right. Now I got to drain a big old bender up. <laughs> 38 feet off oh, 39. Loving the 40 footers today. All right. It's right in his wheelhouse. What's mm -hmm. he going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Hunter Thomas with a big shot to win the tournament. Oh, and he hits a good one oh, right in the rough. What? Why was the ball speed lower than my club speed? Chunky monkey, buddy. Just giving Gerald a chance. Going to chip it in right here. Oh, no. And we blade it. Uh-oh. Literally just giving it away. Uh-oh. And we're in my wheelhouse with a 40 foot putt, two Look feet uphill. Ball. Look at that ball go. Well, he might not be he not might not be done yet. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. That bounce wore out the karma. 124. 1024. That's pretty okay. That is like other than fun. <sighs> Just give it away on 18. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, did he hit it? Did he hit it? Seven feet. And it's a bender. Eight, Eight feet. feet. I'm going to get for double. 
there it goes. Man, this is like that same putt I've had. This is like the, what, third or fourth time now? Yeah. I didn't hit it that time either. That's two in a row. Uh-oh, Hunter. I think mine's a little straighter than yours, but I'm farther Maybe. out. I forgot to hit it again. I just like to build the drama. Yeah, I mean, we, I don't audience. know if we could have done it much, uh, if we could have made it much more dramatic. Man, that's still three inches uphill. I don't know, man. I don't know if I should give away the hole on this one. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. It's been hard to tell today. There it is. <gasps> Hits the lip. What are you putting for? Can I save the tie? That's what I'm putting for. That's it. That's all we're going. Drano. Drano. All right, let's, before we advance, oh, we'll keep the scorecard up here for a middle, minute. Obviously, uh, Hunter made some birds, made a double. I don't think I have any doubles. Nope. So, only one birdie, though. That's pretty weak on my part. That's not a normal day for me. But, you know, we'll take a <laughs> break in 80 on PGA Tour course. Yeah. Somehow we ended up tied on that. Yeah, somehow we tied. I don't okay. know. And nobody gets to be mad, and I don't get to get fired. There we go. <laughs> it's a good day for everybody. Oh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, we're going to try to do this on a weekly basis. Try to get some guests up here maybe, do uh, some rounds with this, um, local golf pro stuff like that. If we can get them on the horn and get them going, this is their busy season. So obviously it might be a little tough to get some of those guys up here but we'll give it a shot we're going to do wednesdays at noon central time coming out of dallas live we're going to do the same course that the pga is playing uh any days i'm gone we'll have hunter and i'll bring be a friend our, uh, along we'll find a <laughs> find a partner to play against yep we'll let him beat somebody else up for a day um, but we want to thank you guys for watching you know as always check us out on facebook instagram uh twitter got shopindoorgolf.com send us an email sales at shopindoorgolf.com um, give us a call we'd love to talk to you love to chat to chat with you if you're on the live chat as well so let us know if you have any questions we'll uh see you next week thanks guys golf from home with virtual golf simulators at shopindoorgolf.com